Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So, today's daily quest is to cast 20 creature, creature spells. Not too hard, not too difficult. Uh, to do this, we're actually going to be using a new deck. For those of you that saw the last episode where I ran the Rakdos Legends deck, uh, the last match was like, up against a variant or a version of Arachnos Lizards. I thought, you know what? You know, that convinced me. That convinced me to go ahead and put this together. So, so here we are. Now, I don't believe this deck is perfect by any means. You know, um, I've used it a little bit and I've already made, made changes to it. But I think it works. I think it works well. I think it can work well. Um, within Bloom Barrow, the um, the basis of, of Lizards seems to be dealing indirect damage. Our mainstay card here is Gev, a Scaled Scorch. You know, other creatures you control enter with an additional plus one plus one counter on them for each opponent who lost life this turn. Very nice. But its main ability, whenever you cast a Lizard spell, uh, deals one damage to target opponent. This triggers before, like the damage triggers before the creature. So if you say have a Gev on the field and you throw out a Flame Kesh Gecko, the one damage will trigger. This will then play and have a plus one plus one counter on it. So very nice. But like I said, the vast majority of the cards in here are about doing indirect damage and all of them are lizards, and coincidentally, all of them are merc mercenaries as well, or fall within the out. Well, yeah, they fall within the outlaws uh, categories. So that's why we're running a laughing Jasper Flint because he benefits from it, and it's a nice little um, you know, make sure your opponent you know exile a hefty amount of your opponent's cards while this is on the field, and it's a four power three toughness for three mana, all around just a great card. But yeah. Another, if you're really wanting trying to get the combo going down, you're gonna want to have like Valley Flame Collar on the field. You know, if a lizard, mouse, otter, or raccoon you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one. Now, I'm pretty sure this also applies to all of their abilities. Like, if uh, Gev's ability would were to trigger, it would deal two damage instead of just one. But that is my assumption. Anyway, the rest of these cards are kind of self-explanatory. They all have abilities that, you know, trigger with loss of life or, you know, with your opponent losing life or something, something like that. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Um, hopefully things go well. Like I said before, I played a couple of matches, only one, I think one of them, but I do think, I, I, I think... I think the deck can work pretty well. I, ha I have an idea of like what cards to play when. Fly uh, Fire Glass Mentor is something you want to play much, much later, just because it exiles two of your cards. So if you don't have if you don't have the uh, the mana to spend those cards, it becomes worthless. Iridescent Fine Lasher is just a nice little way of dealing dealing more indirect damage, but doesn't look like we'll be playing with that, which is fine. Whenever this attacks, deals one damage, but again, our opponent seems to be playing some sort of, probably a spells deck, so I doubt we'll be hanging onto that card for very long. Okay, well, that, that works. Gonna go ahead and activate this this one's ability. Give it that plus two. Or that plus one plus one. Okay, with that on the field, instance costs one less. Instance and sorcery cost one less. So that's a little unfortunate. Ooh. 
Ooh, very nice. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, no, I'm gonna wait. Activate its ability again to go ahead and get that boost. A removal deck like we're going up against is probably one of the worst things we could have played, um, to be completely honest. I need to get rid of I need to get rid of some stuff. Unless they have something to give their picnic ruin or trample. I kind of like my odds here, actually. Just short one damage. The reason, the main reason I decided to double up on that one card is just to make sure he didn't use a monstrous rage, or if he did, I wouldn't take as much damage. That was the idea, at least. So, not too bad, right? Not too bad. I think I played that. I think I played that about about as best as I could. But, uh, yeah, unlike some of my decks, this one does have a little bit of thought process into when, into when you play certain cards. So, so I like it. I think, I think it can work well. For Vine Lasher, if you can get it, get it out for its offspring cost, great. But that's not, in, not entirely necessary to do. Um... Which could let me send out this one as well, sure. I know it's kind of, that was kind of a waste of mana, but it got me um, a couple cards on the field, which is nice. Uh, okay, interesting. Holding on to scales of shale because it gives my uh, gives my creature lifelink and indestructible. So if they play something bad like this,
And they didn't get rid of anything. Interesting. Yeah, it's because they pulled another one. Which, annoying, but nothing I can really do about it. If they don't do something crazy, I might be able to wrap this up in, in the next um, on the next turn. Maybe, maybe. Though with that much mana, they they have to have something. That much mana and five cards in hand, they have to have something, right? Okay, Roxanne. To any target. I almost wish. Get rid of her. Let's pull back the lasher. That's game. Probably. trying to wait this out. If I can pull a mana, and if I can pull a land, I can do some serious damage here. Potentially. Though that life gain's really, really annoying. This is going to end up being a just a slog. another one depending on what I pull I'm just gonna probably concede because this is getting annoying I mean that could be helpful though I doubt they'll let me keep it for some reason they seem not to be attacking I mean I have two yeah there it is that's just... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this. Their cornucopias are just feeding them life, and... Yeah, we're done. Alright, well that last match was a little disappointing, but sometimes that's just how things go. Ultimately though, I think the deck performed fairly well. Uh, the first match we went up against... Uh, well... Wow, I've already lost count of how many matches we played. <laughs> 
Uh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Anyway, um, it went pretty. I think it went pretty well. Uh, removal is definitely a hard thing to go up against with this deck because it is reliant on having certain creatures on the field, or well, just having creatures on the field in general. So that is something to look out for. But yeah, other than that, I think the deck. I think the deck performed pretty well, so I'm happy with it. But anyway, we're going to wrap things up here. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted to the channel, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.